Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a full body yin yoga practice. So I am gonna use a couple things today. If you have a strap of some kind, that could be a towel rolled up, a long sock, a belt, um, anything that can make your arms a little bit longer would be great. And I am gonna have my bolster um, or a pillow, a cushion of some kind would also be great so you can get nice and comfy and you're just gonna need a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today laying down on our backs or on your pillow. So you can lay flat or you can lay on something but move your strap off to the side. I want you to get a little bit comfortable here so that we can settle in and just start to relax. So I'm gonna bring my, my legs into a nice diamond shape, the soles of the feet coming together and the knees out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. And just laying all the way down onto my pillow. So either laying flat, but just rest your arms out to your sides, let your, your palms face up. Closing your eyes and taking a nice big breath in and out. And if you did bring your legs into a diamond shape, try to soften your hips. You might feel a lot of love through the hips here. So just try to relax and if it does not feel good, you can just bring your legs out long or into any other position that does work for you. And just soften the shoulders. Relax your jaw. And just allow yourself to put any thoughts that are on, are on your mind off to the side. Just feel your body get a little heavier. Maybe you, maybe you can find some stillness throughout your body, resisting the urge to wiggle your fingers or scratch your nose. Just letting go of your day or whatever you have to do after this class. So letting yourself be right here, right now. Maybe just listening to the sound of your breath. And if you do happen to have a nice busy mind, lots of thoughts going on right now, just try to breathe a little bit deeper. Put some effort into the breath so you can feel your tummy moving up and expanding as you inhale. And then coming back down as you exhale. you guys take another breath here before you start to move hmm. and then just let the toes start to wiggle as well as the fingers we're just going to be bringing our knees together and our feet to the mat moving slowly here maybe you can walk your feet a little bit closer towards your hips if you are laying on something we're just going to stay here for a moment and if those palms are facing up right now, I actually want you just to bring your hands a little closer to your hips and let your palms face down. And then soften your shoulders. Encourage your low back down either into your mat or into your pillow, whatever is beneath it. Just 
letting your body find some stillness again. If you are laying on something, I want you just to kind of rock side to side a little bit and then we're going to take that pillow or whatever it is out from under us. So if you want to sit up a little bit or roll all the way over to the side, but we're going to come back onto our backs, laying flat. And you can just move your pillow off to the side as you come back down. Walk your feet in even closer and you can actually start to pull your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a nice big hug. You can keep the left leg bent or you can straighten it. Maybe pulling that right knee a little closer to the chest. And with the option to take a twist here. So if you want to twist, just straighten the left leg if you haven't already. And then we're just going to pull our right knee across the body. You could also bring your pillow over and rest it underneath your knee or underneath your whole shin and foot for some support. But let's just check in with that right shoulder. Shimmy those shoulders, keep them both planted. Oh, I'm just taking a few breaths here. With our yin yoga practice, we spend a few moments in each pose, so... So listen to your body, listen to your breath. Move whenever you need to move and just let yourself try to settle in and relax. And just try to keep all the thoughts that want to come onto your mind. Just keep them off to the side. Just listening to the sound of the breath. Feeling the air coming into your body and coming back out. Awesome work, you guys. We're going to take just another full cycle of breath here in that twist. Mm, just use a nice big inhale to lift your leg all the way back up. And bringing your knee back in towards your chest. Give it a nice hug. And then you can slowly start to let go of that right knee. And we're just going to switch sides so the left knee can start to come to the chest. If you did use your pillow, you might want to move it to the other side. Now, well, let's all just start. Pull that left knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Give it a hug. Ah, relax that left ankle. Maybe do an ankle circle. And you can start to straighten the right leg. And if you want that twist, whenever you want it, you can just pull your knee across your body. Maybe all the way over to the floor or to your pillow. Maybe it's hovering. Just adjust your shoulders. Keep that left one down. Let it be heavy. Maybe just noticing where you feel this twist. Are you getting some love for that left glute or that hip? Are you feeling this through your low back or even your obliques, your tummy? Maybe you feel even something through the shoulders, through the arms.
Just noticing where the sensations are coming from and make any adjustments that you need. Awesome, you guys. Let's stay for just one more breath here. Hmm. And using an inhale to bring that leg back up. If you were twisting, hugging it back in towards the chest. And then slowly letting it go. And you can bring that right foot to the floor as well. Oh, and maybe just a little rock side to side to massage your low back a little bit. We are gonna be coming all the way over onto our hands and knees. So if you do wanna roll to the side or rock forwards, you can start to bring yourself all the way up. <clears throat> Take your time. Take your time. We are gonna make our way onto our hands and knees. So in tabletop <clears throat> and get into our shoulders here. So I want you to reach your right arm out in front. Let's bring that right arm as straight as we can, palm facing down, reaching, reaching, reaching. We'll keep our hips high. And then that left hand is gonna slide underneath the chest. So bring that left arm under your chest. Keep reaching that right arm out in front and then see if you can drop the left shoulder down towards the floor. And maybe even resting your left cheek or your left ear. Just keeping the hips high and kind of feeling gravity pull your chest down. Putting a little bit of body weight on that left arm. And you might just gently continue to push into that right palm. But maybe try to lower the right shoulder towards the floor as well. Awesome, you guys. We're just going to use an inhale to slowly lift the chest back up. And I want you just to take your left arm out from under you and bring it to your side for some support. Let's adjust that right arm. Make sure it's coming straight out in front again. You can even spread your fingers nice and wide. And then we're just going to drop our chest straight down. So think about lowering both of your shoulders towards the floor. The option here may be to rest the chin. Maybe to rest the right cheek or ear. But you should feel this nice stretch for, through that right shoulder now, through that arm. Keeping the hips high as we were before. And just letting gravity pull your chest down towards the ground. Awesome, you guys. And then with an inhale, we're just going to lift up nice and slow. Nice and slow. You can bring that right hand in. We're just going to be switching sides. So take a shoulder roll if you need it. On that left side, on that right side, both sides. And then just start to reach that left arm out. Reach, reach, reach. Keep those hips high and slide the right arm underneath the chest. So sticking with that right shoulder, lowering it down as low to the ground as you can. Maybe resting your head. And you might continue to push into the left palm a little bit. Just send the hips back a little. Or you might relax that left arm completely.
Nice, you guys. And with an inhale, when you're ready, slowly lifting your chest back up. That left hand is going to stay reaching out. The right hand's going to come to beside you for support now. And then you can just start to lower your chest straight down. So that left arm's fairly straight. Feeling this all through that left side now. Option for the chin or the forehead even. Or to rest the left cheek. The left ear. Nice work, you guys. And using an inhale when you're ready to very slow, start to lift your chest back up. Take a couple shoulder rolls if you need it. I call that my half puppy dog. I love that shoulder stretch. <sighs> now we're going to move back into our hips. So a couple things. I want you to have your strap close to you if you do have something to use. And you might also want your pillow of some kind at the top of your mat if you've got one to use, but just an option. Don't worry about having that there. And if it's a really soft pillow, it might not even work. So we're just gonna be bringing our right foot forwards and sinking into the lunge, getting into our hips here. So if you do want a little extra cushion for your back knee, you could roll your mat over, stick a towel under your knee if you've got one. And we're gonna sink into those hips, finding that left hip flexor first. And then we're gonna heel toe our foot over to the right side of the mat to find the right hip. And bring your hands to the inside of that right foot. Lizard sinking into those hips. So that knee's kind of falling out to the side. You can turn your toes out to the side a little bit. If you want to lower your chest in this, you can lower your forearms onto your pillow or maybe you've got blocks. Or you can bring them all the way down to the mat. Or if you're feeling a whole lot of love here already, staying up on your hands, you're just going to stay up on your hands. I do want to add another thing to this though, an option to get into that left quad if it's available to you. So I'm just going to come down onto my forms for this. But if you stay on your hands, it's a little bit easier to get the foot. Just got a sore finger <laughs> lately. So finding your strap if you've got one, if you need it, we're just going to be reaching the right hand back for that left foot. So you can start to bend that knee, placing your strap on your foot, and then just encouraging that heel towards the glute. So it's just an option. You don't have to do the quad stretch. It's a really intense stretch for the hip flexor as well. It feels pretty awesome, <laughs> but it's quite intense. So if you're getting a whole lot of love without grabbing the foot, you can just keep that leg down. And let's all relax. Nice work, you guys. Just another few breaths here. Hmm. And if you did happen to grab your foot, add that quad stretch, you can slowly start to let it go back down. And if you're on your forearms, you're just going to slowly slide back up onto your hands. And we're going to let that front foot heel toe back to the middle of the mat. And then bring that right knee all the way to your mat and let's just sit on our heels for a second and I'm completely tangled in my strap <laughs> as usual so just take a seat on your heels relax ah, notice any sensations running through the legs and then we're just going to switch sides so the left foot can come forwards if you're using your strap have it close to you again 
<clears throat> if you're not, don't worry about it. If your pillow was useful, bring your pillow in front. But let's start here by bringing that left foot forwards for the lunge. Try to find your right hip flexor before you move your foot over to the edge of your mat. Remember to add a cushion under that back knee or roll your mat over if you are on a nice hard surface and it's a little sensitive. Let the knee fall out to the side. Turn those toes out to the side. Sink into those hips. Whew, feel it so good today. And you can drop it low if you want to drop it low or you can just stay on your hands. Hmm. Open up those hips, that left glute, that whole left leg. If you do want to add your quad stretch, you're just going to bring that left hand. It's going to reach back for that right foot. So opposite, opposite hand to foot. And just encourage it towards your glute. And let the hips stay heavy. Awesome, you guys. Just another few breaths here. Soften those hips. But move if you need to move. Awesome, you guys. And just letting that foot go if you've got it. And slowly just lifting on up. And heel toeing your foot back to the middle of your mat and we're just going to bring that left knee back to the ground sitting on our sitting on our hands and knees on our hands and knees i want you to start to tuck your toes under tuck your toes under push your hips back towards your heels lengthen those toes stretch the bottom of your feet your ankles toe squat you can stay with your hands on the floor or you can sit back on your heels just here for a very short moment hmm <sighs> So good, awesome, you guys. And then bringing your hands back down to the floor. Untuck those toes, give them a little love tap, a little shake, and then cross your ankles. <clears throat> bringing your legs out in front. You can keep your knees bent. We're just going to fold forward so you might have nice bent knees. Give your knees a nice big hug or you might lengthen your legs. You could even grab your strap for this if you've got a strap. But take an inhale to lengthen your, your spine and then use the exhale to fold forwards. And if it feels good on the low back to round it out a little bit here, let the chest get a little heavier. You can let it, the spine start to round. And if it does not feel good on that low back, you're going to keep your spine nice and long. Keep that chest proud. Feeling the length through the back of the legs and feeling the length through the back. And just finding your breath again. Softening through your shoulders. Nice job, you guys. And using an inhale to gracefully lift your upper body all the way back up. And you can walk your knees in. Ah, give yourself one last hug. Maybe rock it out a little bit side to side. Oh, and then just move all your props off to the side. We're going to lay down and start to set up for Shavasana. If you do want your pillow under your head or maybe under your knees. 
and can definitely bring it back in. But just lay out long if that works for you. Rest your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart to your chest. Just feel your body get nice and heavy. Get nice and still. And as always, I encourage you guys to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you have time for today. Hmm. And I do hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.